Hi, my name is Leo William Adair, and today I will be discussing spiritual empowerment. Spirituality is all about seeking the truth within and without yourself. It's comprised of love, light, and freedom. Its power is infinite. Connecting with our spiritual selves aids us to power through life's trials. And if you come from a mindset filled with pragmatic gratitude, it fuels you onward. Like a game, spiritual progress will test your virtues, boiling down to molecules of being a good person. Sometimes you need solitude to find connection, or sometimes you need others to guide you through. But whatever task the universe or God gives you, you know that you're not alone. Alas, we've all had to face wallflower-like moments of being alone, and during those times, remember this. Perks of being a wildflower is that once reconnected, the resilience of your soul becomes a radiant catalyst for change. Now, you may think that you're not a spiritual person, but we all are. We all read books, watch television, go on YouTube, share ideas on social media, and talk about our lives. Spirituality is all about connecting with creative forces and directing them into the causes of, of space and time. When we connect mind, body, and spirit, in a balanced and mindful way, we can transform our energies into adventures and projects. When it comes to revitalizing, spiritual wisdom should be at the forefront of our minds in order to ground ourselves in empathy. Here's why. So I'd like to meld the concepts of spirituality and leadership in a game I created. If anyone has played the energy game where we pass on energy to the next person to the left or right of us and stand in a circle, um, it's a modified version of that. So I would like uh, three people from the audience to be judges. Um, if you can come up and like stand over here for me. Uh, let's see, how about uh, you three? <laughs> Thank you. All right, so just, yeah, stand over here. Um, okay, so. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is that I ask the rest of you create like seven clusters of um, people. So representing each chakra, you know, like the crown, the, the, cr the third eye chakra and all of that. So uh, just make sure this, there's seven. So just organize yourself, please. Thank you. So just hand out. Thanks so much. Okay, and make sure you stand up. Thank you. No, the judges, no. I need the judges to come back up. Thank you. All right, do we have our teams? Let's see, one, two. Are you a team? Three, four, five, six, seven. Sweet, okay. So, um, yeah, so now just like a marching band or a theater stadium, it's Stadium, I will randomly choose an energy conductor from each team. So yeah, just the people that are holding the signs will be the energy conductors. And the conductor's role will be to strike a pose and yell, energy! And the rest of the team will follow. Yeah, I'll just be all playful. Um, the, um, your team only gets a chance to cheer for a total of 30 seconds. And be sure to clap for each team after they strike a pose. So the object of this game, folks, is to be the most creative or energetic or cheerful, and the judges will decide who wins. But there's... <laughs> yeah. Oh. But there's a... This is, what, this is what I want you guys to... But, um, yeah. So think of like a funky pose. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. All right. OK. And is everyone ready? Let the games begin. Go.
<laughs> and go. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, energy. I'm going to go. Energy! 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 Nice. That was great. That was great. Try and top that. Energy! Energy! Oh, wow. Energy! Woo! Okay. And next. Okay. Energy! 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 Woo! Woo! Nice. And go. Ah, that was good. And last. <laughs> nice. Okay, so just just whisper. Did you guys decide? Uh, yep. Yeah, just, no, let me know, and then I'll announce. Okay. Uh, okay, so um, also note that the remainder of my presentation is determined by whichever team wins, indicating the chakra that we're most in tune with at this time is the one we'll be refle reflecting on. So, audience, the catch of this game is that the team who really wins is the one who had the best sportsmanship. Because <laughs> for every great leader, the best wisdom we can invoke is the idea of unity. And being fair to others is being fair to oneself, thus creating harmony. But most important, a leader must at all times have empathy by strengthening their awareness and letting go of ego. So since the up throat chakra wins, I'll be reading a short story aligning with the winners. So thank you, all judges. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So the Throat Chakra team won, and so I'll be sh reading a short story um, that I wrote that, we, that uh, is based on the Throat Chakra. So Mary was a classy girl, wore flared out jeans and, de and jack denim jacket with style. Peace signs flickered along her knee patches and a pair of brown shades sat on her wild hair. She had a passion for singing, yet no one in her family knew. So she would sing in the woods to the birds and beavers. When she finally had her freedom from her family in college, Mary was discontent with her life and was losing faith. She was studying to be a nurse, as that is what her mother was, but during rest times, she found herself singing even more. While unable to express herself in her own family, Mary, find, Mary finally reached a boiling point where she decided to take the opportunity to study abroad in Egypt. Mary wore all shades of blue, and on her spiritual journey to Egypt, seeking to find the Sphinx in Mount Olive's pyramids because due to her research, she discovered this was the center of where she could find her voice. As she neared the Sphinx, during the evening, her willpower bloomed in strength. Focusing on harnessing her own truth, Mary knew that all was unfolding in her life in perfect harmony. She peered up at the Sphinx in Revelation, its ancient structure illuminated by the brilliance of stars that were appearing before in the darkness of night. Mary was a spectacle to see, her blue dress shining in the starlight. Cosmic forces saw Mary's meditative state, and the Sphinx's eyes glowed for a brief moment, long enough for Mary to see. Mary's faith in herself was restored, and at that moment, she began singing, not just to nature, but to others overall. Lyrics of a song burst in her head as words danced on her pen as she wrote in her journal. Mary returned home and took up the nerve to sing at the hospital she was interning at, singing to the patients, easing their sorrows, or uplifting their joys of birth with her voice. Her voice grew even more powerful, and she sang like an angel all over con the country. Now, the throat chakra influences self-expression, communication, and integrity. The affirmation for this chakra is, I express myself with grace and integrity. I communicate effectively with everyone I meet. Thank you.